This video is primarily aimed at new players, but I do bet that also experienced players could learn a thing or two. I am the gaming teacher, and here are my tricks and tips for Isonzo. Firstly, I will cover some generic, and then move to class specific one. First tip, communicate with your team, as this increases your effectiveness at fighting the enemy. Play the objectives as those decide whether you win or lose. Stick together with your teammates as there is power in numbers. For example, if you miss the enemy, your teammate can kill him, but if you were alone, you would be dead. Talking about getting killed, be sure to always bolt your rifle. There is an indicator on the bottom right that warns you about this, so let's avoid unwanted situations. In some cases, you and the enemy will miss each other. If you are close enough, just go for the melee kill. Use your bayonet, as this is far quicker than reloading. When you are being approached by the enemy, lay down, as this increases your chances of survival. Either because they are aiming at body height, or they just may think that you are a dead soldier. Just make sure to hit them. Talking about laying down, when there is no cover, move slowly, crawl, as quick moves attracts attention, especially when attacking. As a defender, however, use bushes. I mean, use bushes in general, just make sure that you don't stick out too much, blend with the environment. Do not destroy the barbed wire that your engineer has constructed. Do a detour instead. You can also slide through the barbed wire. Yes, you heard me right. You can do that. I mean, it's slow and you get damaged, but it's doable. Heal your teammates, not just for the points, but also for increasing your chances of success. As an injured soldier will die if he gets hit, while a healthy one might just get injured instead. Besides destroying enemy machine guns and mortars, also destroy their defensive emplacement, as you get score points for that. For example, if you destroy an individual barbed wire, it awards you 40 points, which equals to 2 kills, from a points perspective. Machine guns are a death trap, but sometimes you can use those located further back and you just might be fine. Certain class challenges are achieved more easily while playing against bots, so simplify your life whenever possible. A good example for that would be the marksman, as if you haven't picked a scoped rifle from the beginning of the match, it is highly unlikely that you will be able to get hands on during the game. Finish any unfinished emplacement, as the engineer who was building it was most likely just killed. Now, let's see the specific tips and tricks. For the Rifleman and Assault class. If you can build an ammo or grenade box, please do so near the spawn point, so that people spawn with an extra grenade or double the ammo. The Assault class should also build the box in a secure position when advancing towards the enemy or holding them back, so that also other teammates can refill their grenades. As a rifleman with the ammo box, you can resupply static weapons and teammates. Especially officers and mountaineers will be thankful, and you also get score points for doing that. As the officer, make sure to keep blowing the whistle, otherwise people will be angry. As an engineer, you can build sniper shields in objectives to block entrances. Build them so that people from the inside can get out. And the last one, which is generic yet related to a class somewhat, remember to enjoy the game and have fun. If you have watched until now and you are in search of more tutorials, do check out my videos as I did standalone tutorials for each class as well as other more or less interesting content. That's all for this video, I hope you found it instructive and useful. Gaming Teacher out.